guys, welcome back to the Bone Zone. So, um, DK on YouTube announced today that Ishizu's cards are coming to Master Deal before Tier Limits. Um, yeah, that, that's huge. Absolutely massive. So, uh, I threw together this quick deck just to like give you guys an example of what we have to look forward to and believe me it's a lot there's, there's a lot to um, digest from that i'm not saying this is an optimal build this is a very quick quickly thrown together build it's got grass it's it's got the punk engine that goes into chaos ruler and zombie vampire um i'm playing the light swan engine mill 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 um now we don't know that these cards aren't going to be banned like things like snow in the intervening time but if not this is massive this is absolutely massive um so let's go and load up an ai if i can remember how you can always throw work Okay, so there we go. We've opened both um, both combos. I will hold off on the charge until I've resolved the punk engine, just because I don't want to mill any of the parts. They're a good way to get Mizuki into the graveyard as well. I mean, punk engine is really flexible. There's different ways of playing. I mean, I can go straight into Deer Note here um, by using Deer Note's own effect to special summon it. Um, I could use the Foxy in hand, but if you imagine I don't have any of the. Oh, yeah. There's so many options. So I'm going to go this route for one reason, and it's an old one. Um, it's deck thinning. I've, I've taken an extra card out of my deck. This will take an extra two cards out of my deck going through it this way. So by taking these cards out of my deck, any future mills I have are much more likely to hit the good targets. Definitely a consideration to make. Oh, I didn't want to do this yet. Can I cancel this? Yeah. Before I make the Chaos Ruler, probably a good idea to fire off the charge. Now, I did use my normal summon already. Um, so we're going to activate a couple of cards here. Again, I'm going to fire off the White Prince's Chain Link 2 because I want to deck thin these other cards that I don't want to be like firing the Agito mills into the potential prince mills if you know what i mean um makes sense to me anyway graveyard's looking quite tasty yeah it's like nearly 3 a.m so um excuse me if i'm not being very clear it's like the only time of day i actually get five minutes to myself to do something like this Okay, let's see what we hit off of the Chaos Ruler. Yeah. You know, we'll just send it all to Grave. Into a zombie vampire. What do I want? What do I want? I guess we'll take another wolf. I mean, the wolf would have summoned itself anyway. <laughs> I could have taken the lady, but I kind of want that in the graveyard anyway. There's just so much happens when you play this this style deck. I mean, I could send the Gozuki off of this next place, so I don't necessarily even need to take the prince. I'm not even going to take the prince. 
Like, how crazy is that? I'm not taking the prints off of a white baking search. Unbelievable. But this works. This works really well. I mean... Unreal, huh? How unreal is this? No, we're not done milling yet. Let's go into a Minerva. See, having that other lady on board at this point would have actually been good because I could have gone into a Dante as well. I mean, it's absolutely... Look at all these options. This is all my graveyard activations. There's what, seven of... Eight of them? Unreal, absolutely absurd. No, you wonder, don't I have to? <laughs> I'm just doing this for fun at the moment. I mean, this isn't the play. So I guess we're gonna um, banish a wolf. It's absolutely crazy. So now kings are protected from back row, and we've got monster negates. You can still banish six cards from our opponent's grave. We've got Destrudo, like, we don't even need Destrudo. Like, another level four on the field. Or level six. It's just another body at this point. We just. We can do so much. I mean, if this was turn two, we can go to a. Four material Zeus. Yeah, unreal. Unreal. Let's do that again. That was just a tester, like this is my first tester. Okay, let's go again. Okay, that's an interesting hand. Um So we did open the punk engine again. Now, because we don't have any other punks in our hand, we are going to be forced to um, go this route. Activate CM in there. Like I said, it's very late and I'm kind of just clicking buttons at this point. There is so much to take in. And 
the thing is, like, your my opponent isn't playing these sheets of cards here, but when your opponent is playing them as well and they're triggering off of each other and you're you're milling twenty cards into the graveyard. Absolutely crazy stuff happening. Yeah, it's gonna be really exciting. Okay. You know gonna let them all go to the grave. They're all brilliant mills. They're they're just perfect. We will special summon one when Okay. Let's move some more. Now this is another neat thing, there's so many lights in this deck surprisingly. The curious comes up, he just comes up all on his own. Just every once in a while he just... Oops. <laughs> okay, let's put him back. We'll send the cow back. He's only gone and done it again. And hit the Aikido as well. Really feel like I maybe need to run some more rank four cards because yeah, these level fours are just pinging onto the field so easily. Like, look at all these interactions just in the graveyard alone. Where to begin? Like, did I not even hit a baking yet? I didn't even hit a baking yet. Like, I'm real. Yeah, I'm only playing two baking just because the sheer amount of milling I'm doing. Like, I don't need to run more than... See? Unfortunately, that's the same rank for... Um, let's get her out anyway. Pretend it's a new one. Yeah, so I do need another ring for maybe um out of these options.
Yes, I will. I mean, I'm just clicking buttons at this point. I mean, there's so much I can do. I do need another rank four, that's for sure. you say yeah the end board isn't amazing but it's just because I haven't spent the time to pick out my extra deck very thoroughly what can you say it's, it's just so easy it's 42 cards in the graveyard it didn't even resolve grass like imagine if I hit grass as well So yeah, that's that, and um, this is the deck. Like I said, not really very finalized at all. Um, I mean, I'm only playing one Keldo, one Muro, Mudora. Um, I'm not totally sold on Distrudo anymore. I mean, oh, so many good memories of this card. It was such a beast, but I mean, I've got like one Synchro. And just as another like link material body, yeah. it's an extender from grave. I guess that's that's enough. And what else is there to say? This is like larger punk engine for me. Normally, I would run a, a bit of a smaller engine, maybe just one or two Foxy. Um, I don't always play this fusion guy, but kind of comes up if you only draw the. Foxy, so yeah, the rest just two baking just because I'm gonna mill it regardless. I only need one, it's, it's a once per turn card. You know, if I don't mill it, I might hit it off of a Gozuki, and it's you know, if I get a Gozuki in the graveyard, or so I'm summoning it off of a Mezuki, so then I do get to still send anyway. So, yeah, it's not worth running more than two. And princes aren't once per turn, and yeah, that's it. Other than that, it's maybe I wouldn't play the four material Zeus engine, maybe that's like three slots in itself. I think I could get an extra rank four, there's a lot of good options, as you know. Um, I'm not sold on Dante, I guess he had a place. I kind of like Vampire Fascinator. I like um, Topologic Twist Baner. It's like my signature card, and I haven't put it in here. Yeah, so that's that. Um, mind is blown if this is legal. If this becomes legal, unreal. Absolutely unreal. Oh, yeah, I'm playing the five card anti maxi package. <laughs> Um, maybe you want to make room for the max C because, ah, you know, it's not a mill target, but we don't want to play it. It's not a mill target. <laughs> okay, guys. Wow. Just, this is going to be crazy. This is going to be crazy. Peace.